Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds and heavens to Murgatroyd, it is raining like crazy again. And this is where it's really nice to have one of these full bee suits. You guys see me in veils, sometimes just a jacket. Now I'm in a full suit, but when you work bees and it's raining, having a full suit can be really handy. And so we're gonna do some feeding today. Um, I wanna say real quick, uh, if you're looking for a full bee suit or you're concerned about getting stung, this is the best bee suit that I've used. I like it because it gives me a ton of protection. I've wore it so much, wore holes in it because I uh, was using a flame weeder next to it. This is like my favorite part is this zipper down into here. It zips all the way up to here. Don't get too excited, anybody. And Laurel, <laughs> she should have seen her face. Oh, goodness. So, but that's really easy to get my boots in and out of, jump in and out of this really fast. And it's also nice that it has one on this side. I'm gonna leave a link down below. This comes from the same place this rig comes from. And that's commercial bee supply and the bee supply. Um, basically one of the same, just different branches. So I can get into my pockets, get my cell phone, whatever. We can take a YouTube video. That's great. I like how it seals up around the gloves right here. This Velcro has been really durable and this band right here to keep it up as well is really nice. So. The pockets are good. The reinforcement is excellent. This is my favorite bee suit that I found so far. And I've just had to blow all the water out of this because I'm just soaked all, all the way. Besides my feet, these muck boots are great. All right, let's get to feeding. This nice rig picked it up at Laurel Nice Conference and it has just been awesome. Let's turn that on here and Let's make sure everything is correct. That sounds about right right there. All right. This is really nice too. This is Laurel's favorite part because she used to have to wind these up by hand, didn't you, Laurel? Yeah, that's right. I should have brought the smoker with me. We got a two gallon mother load frame feeder made in the USA. You can see I got a little bit of straw in there. This is our overflow yard. So some of these colonies have fresh queens. We sold nukes out of them and they are trying to work on that second box. Some of them haven't quite made it up to the second box just yet. Sorry about the sound quality. I left the mics at the house. So some of these bees are bigger than others. And this is just a really nice tool right here. I really like these two gallon frame feeders though. If I'm gonna come all the way out here, let's just get it filled up. And that pump is really nice this is one of the only negative things and th there's a fix for this but whenever you turn this off you have all that feed that's in the line still or the pipe at the end and it would be nice if it closed further off at the end so i believe uh, david bradshaw created a solution for stuff like that i'm not 100 percent sure if that's accurate but i think it is It's, it's only June 1st though. Typically our honey flows another two weeks and it has just been rain, rain, rain. Terrible flow year, unfortunately. But uh, you make the best of what you have and see how much is coming out of that pipe right there. Thankfully, there is a lot of rain so the bees aren't really getting out and flying too much. And yeah, I just really can't say enough about that. We've got the rocket fuel, uh, the Apis Biologic product. I also get that from a commercial bee supply, the bee supply. Um, so I've got two branches. A commercial bee supply is where you get big stuff like that pump right there. You can get all kinds of bulk stuff. Heck, they even sell large 
uh, forklifts for getting out into the bee yards. I don't have one of those yet. It's on my Christmas list. Laurel didn't get it for me last year. I was a little disappointed, but you know, good things come to those that wait. But the bee supply is where you can get all kinds of really good stuff too, like the additives and bee suits and just all kinds of stuff. Blake Shook does a really good job with his team. Such a really nice company. And uh, they really understand beekeepers because they run like 15, 20,000 hives themselves. So that one says Zach on it right there. That's got a Zach queen from Hawaii. So these bees just like to sit around all day and eat, eat, eat. They're probably disappointed with this non-tropical weather. See how fast that fills up? If I wasn't running my mouth, we'd be through this yard a lot quicker. I think we've only got about 28 hives over here, maybe 30. I've got to bring a few more. And you can hear how that thing engages back there. I don't know how well you can hear that. They've got it built up to where it's got a, a relief in it, like a pressure relief, which is handy. My old system, I had to constantly run it back into the tank because I didn't have all the fancy doodads. That one is a dead out. And this one just got another box today, so fill her up. But feeding's really important. Some of you may look at this and go, oh my goodness, you know, this is feeding in June and all that kind of stuff. It's super important. Not all years are as generous as the others. And young colonies need to be fed. Bees burn through a lot of energy. And so we still got that line to do right there. I won't keep you any longer. I just wanted to say thanks for watching these videos. We have uh, crazy weather, but as beekeepers, it's our job as we coexist with our bees to understand that some years are great, some years not really so great, but we can help them out in these rougher years by giving them feed. And I really like to go the extra mile with the Apis Biologics biocontrol product because it tries to mimic all the little things that are in nectar and we put that into the syrup so it's not just sucrose it's also loaded with the little things the nectar has that helps the bees out keeps them healthier and then we invest our money into rigs and good bee suits to help us get the job done so we can enjoy ourselves so Laurel you got anything to say she's shaking her head no sorry guys you know She's just one of those people that just kind of nods her heads and I just like, yes, dear. <laughs> so anyhow, how are we doing? We good, Laurel? All right, we're good. Guys, we'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.